the, the most important thing was to get the three points and um, in a major tournament, the win's the most important thing. I think our focus quickly changed to, to that we'd reviewed the, the Haiti game and that's that's the focus now from now for the next few days. When you reviewed the Haiti game, what was the feeling and what was the message to try to catch up in the way how you improved? I think being really honest, I think we were happy to get the win. Um, they were a tough opposition. Um, I think people massively underestimated them and um, I think we prepared definitely for what they were to bring and maybe some people weren't aware of their strengths like we were. Um, but I think now, moving forward, it's put the game to bed and focus on the strengths of Denmark. It's been a while since England scored both the play. It's been a while since England scored more than one goal mm -hmm. in a game. I mean, for me, no, I see the girls every day in training, so um, it's not a concern for me. I think the games that you've just said have come in a, a small space of time, and I think we've proved in the past that we can score goals. We've got players all over the pitch who can score goals and are dangerous in, in different moments. I think in football, you go through little spells where you might not score as many goals as you'd like, but the chances are created, and I think that's the most important thing. Thanks, Anton. Take questions from the floor if you raise your hand. Yep, we'll go there. Well, we've got an amazing base camp that we've just arrived at. Um, a lot of people are doing a lot of colouring in and jigsaws, and we've got an unbelievable setup with a games room. And um, I suppose the younger players play a bit more games than the older players, but it's a relaxed camp. Um, the staff make it really relaxed for us, and the players who are experienced help the younger players feel relaxed. So there's no concern there. I think right now the, the statement was what it was and that's where we'll leave it. I think the focus for us now is to play football, um, to focus on the games and the next game's Denmark and that's, that's our focus. Thanks very much. Yes. Yeah. Hello. Change. I think the change already happening. I think we we made that change la last summer for more opportunity in schools, and that's where it starts at a young age. I think um, I still have regular contact with my school now back at home, and uh, the most important thing for us as a squad and is for young girls and boys to have opportunity. Um, and I think we're getting there. Thank you. Yes, we'll go to Katie from BBC. I knew. <laughs> I was prepared. Um, uh, I, I knew my role in the team, um, whether that's centre-back, whether that's left-back. Um, we've all played in them positions before, whether that's a club or country. And We might not play together every week at club, but we're very familiar with each other. Um, and that's, that's in training. We've been in a training camp for well three weeks together before the tournament started. And that's enough time to prepare for your partnerships and um, your build-up play and, and you know, relationships. But as the tournament starts, then, then things develop naturally as well. So for us, again, it's just about keep doing that in training, keep forming them partnerships, and um, eventually it'll come together.
expected from her and for the rest of the Denmark team on Friday? Yeah, like you said, I think Penella herself is what she's achieved in the game has been outstanding and I think I'm very much aware of her from playing against her for Chelsea um, and the, the problems she causes. Likewise, the other players, they've got some really good individuals all over the pitch, um, but obviously she's, she's classed as their main threat and rightly so. So I think for us it's about nullifying their threats, um, her being one of them and we'll have a game plan to do that. Thanks, we'll go to Emma. I'm actually loving colouring in at the moment. I found me in a childhood, Alex, again. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying that. Obviously, coffees, walks. Um, it's been my go-to at the moment. What sort of things do you in? Oh, all kinds. All kinds. Of, whatever I can get my hands on. I think I'm running out now of spaces. <laughs> yes, Simon. Yeah, well, it's the trained with a day in day out for the last however many years so they'll give us the others some tips and um, I suppose it does help I suppose Millie played up against that in training likewise Jess so yeah I'm sure they know how to stop it I'm sure they'll share that information with us as well I didn't, I didn't know that stat, but yeah, that's part of my game and something I enjoy to do. I like to have possession of the ball and I like to, to build a play from the back. That's something I, I pride myself on, so I don't overthink stats too much. Um, I think they don't tr tr always show a true reflection of the game, but for me personally, it's, it's something I want to do. I want to keep the ball. I want to give the ball to the players. You've got to make things happen. Thanks, Simon. We'll go to Luke at the Telegraph. Alex, you've... Um Yeah, it does. It feels like, it, well, it's proven it's the biggest tournament we've had. Um, I think obviously last year, being at home, that was a special feeling uh, to have a, a home Euros. But this one does feel big in the sense of um, being in Australia. But yeah, 42,000 fans there and quite a lot to, to support us. So yeah, for me, it feels different, but it feels, it feels like it's exactly where it's meant to be. No, I think I prepare, it's probably the same answer, but I prepare every tournament regardless of whether I'm going to be used on the pitch or off and that, that will never change for me, whether it's for for England or if it's for club, I'll, I'll always prepare the same way. So in that sense, no, not really. Um, I think obviously now I've played the first game, my, my preparation after looks different in terms of recovery and stuff like that, but I treat every game the same. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's a case of coming together and um, trying different things with different people. Everyone has different strengths and our wingers are all so gifted in different ways. Um, whoever you play with, you try and play to their strengths. Thank you. Thanks, Luke. Yes, we'll go to Tom. Hi, Tom. I didn't even know we had that. Did I? I don't think I've got round to that part of it. Yeah, it's that big. <laughs> um, base camp unbelievable. Like I just said, it's it's got everything we can we could think of. It's it's got so much to keep us busy in our spare time, and uh, we're really lucky and really grateful for what we've been given. Well, as we left there, it was Hempo and Neve. I think I see them a lot on it. You have had a go, right? Yeah, um, I think Hempo is really good actually. So. But I'm, I'm, I'm not playing table tennis. <laughs> it's not for me. Yes? You touched on the crowd, um, you know, having a lot of people there. Um, what sort of things have you seen from the first game? Did that take you by surprise, just how many fans were either here in Australia or have travelled to Australia to support you? Yeah, somewhat a little bit. I think um, in the build-up to the game ar around Brisbane, when we were, we were walking about, to be fair, we had a lot of people wish us good luck. And obviously... A few Aussies that wished us well until they we they played, um, but no, it, a surprise in the sense of the amount of supporters we had. Um, but it's it's brilliant, and I think it just shows what we've done as as a team and um, where we're at. Do you think that'll be a bit of an advantage going further into the competition? 
I think having fans at your game and supporting you is always an advantage. Um, it's something that we we pride ourselves on having our having our fans. So I mean, I hope so. Yes, Neil. Good question. I think she's <laughs> <laughs> question done. <laughs> I think the bo runs into the box she makes. I think she's how tidy she is on the ball for a player who's maybe quite slight. A hold up play is brilliant. Um, she scores a lot of goals. I think she scores all type of goals. She's got a, a great strike on her. Um, I could give her an more compliments but but I won't so um, but no she's a top player and that's why she's won the amount of trophies that she has. Thanks Neil. Yes Jacob. Uh, you've seen massive amounts of injuries this tournament. Uh, what do you make of that? Is this something you'd like to go to about and the sport have to deal with it? It's it's part of the game. Um I think on obviously I think in the first game the first half we had nine minutes added on and um I think at times I felt like it should have been a bit more, but um, it's where we're at with VAR and um, it's going to be no, no issue for us. Thanks. Yes, Molly. I think personally as a defender you just you've got to obviously be smart with your challenges in certain areas. Um I think you should be anyway. Um but if you you know if you defend properly or use it in the right positions then you kinda of shouldn't have to help hope VAR helps you out. But it's gonna come into play at times and that's part of the game now and I think we're getting used to it. Thanks. Any last questions, Holly? Um obviously it's quite different to the river Mersey and Crosby Beach, but <laughs> Yeah, well, I haven't actually lived at home for a, a while, but um, yeah, it's so nice to be by a beach, and I think this is their winter, which feels like summer to us, us English. Um, so yeah, it's been lovely and really refreshing to, to come somewhere where there's nice places to go, nice places to walk, and the sun's out. Yeah, absolutely. I think no matter how many major tournaments you go to with your country, everyone feels more special. Um, I think f for me, this is my third World Cup, and when I get the call and I'm told I'm coming, it feels like it's my first one. And even when I'm here, because I'm seeing other players experience the debut at a World Cup and their moments to do it together is really special. So I agree with Georgia. It's a, it is a moment where you do pinch yourself at times, um, and I'm obviously really grateful to be a part of this squad. Thank you. Any final questions? We'll go to Adam and then we'll end there. You just said it's your third World Cup for you. You've got this great World Cup as well. How does it compare? And how much has been progressed in 2015 to where you are now? From what I can remember from 2015, yeah, significantly. I think um, we've always been very well looked after as a, as a squad. But I think where the games are then to now is we can all probably see it's massively improved and um, the competition's much higher. The teams have improved. Um, so I think the game's growing and I think this tournament speaks for itself. Thanks, Adam. Thanks, everyone.